Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at what obstacles are standing in your way to achieving the wonderful relationship that you want to have. This new beginning of abundance and manifestation. Uh, what should you be changing or what uh, you need to do in order to move this bad energy out of the way and actually find the beautiful relationship that you're looking forward to. Are there people that you need to release? Are there things that you need to change within yourself? Or uh, is it about actually going out and overcoming your fears and meeting your person? We'll find out. These are all just guesses. The tarot cards will show us a much better perspective and a much accurate one into exactly what you be, need to be doing to get the love of your life into your life. Whether this be, be a person in, that you have in mind that maybe you never know could manifest into your life or whether it be the person that you dream about actually manifesting and coming to life. Let's take a look at that. All right, so without any more blabbering, let's get on to this reading. We have three piles here for you today. We have the Black Tourmaline for pile number one. We have the Cuprite Stone for pile number three. And we have this beautiful Moonstone for pile number three. See which ones, which one or which ones you're mostly drawn to. And that's the, probably the pile or the piles for you here today. Uh, it's okay to check more than one pile because there are definitely messages there for you as well to know about that you're meant to know about. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your timestamp and you'll be forwarded to your reading. Hi, pile number one. So you've chosen this beautiful black tourmaline. As you know, the black tourmaline is all about grounding, is all about detox and is all about protection. So let's see what this is all about in your reading. We'll put it up here so that we have more space for your tarot cards. I have shuffled them really well. We're gonna be using the tarot cards and oracle cards to find out exactly what you need to change. So pile number one, what is standing in your way for you to find the person of your dreams? So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's pretty, it's becoming pretty clear already what's going on. Let's pull out an Oracle card from the Witch's Oracle and see what it wants to say. Ooh, two. All right, we'll take them. You have holy water, very cute. And you have the sword. All right. So pile number one, what is pretty clear here are several things. First of all, it looks like to me that you're really holding on to an old love that is very dear to you. Uh, you're, you have hope in getting back with this person, but at the same time, pile number one, I see that with, with the four of cups here, is that there is this combination between wanting the old person and not wanting them. And so this is energetically, is keeping you away from finding the right person, pile number one. Um, so the first advice is with the sword here to cut this old relationship out of your life, the, this ex relationship out of your life. And you don't need to lose this person altogether. Obviously this person is very dear to you. Keep this person in and you know, deal with it like the fire and water. Um, enjoy the relationship without being stuck. Flow with water into other new realms. And we're gonna talk about that. Let go of this um, holding on because as you know, pile number one, or as you may know, um, is that when you release something, you instantly create a vacuum and that vacuum instantly pulls in 
new things into your life. And it's for you to decide according to the energy and the mindset that you have, what is going to be instantly replaced. And I'm not saying this is going to attract a relationship right away, which is going to happen by the way, but that's not our point now. My point is that you're going to be attracting this sort of energy into your life, thus attracting more abundance to you. So the first advice is to cut this old relationship, let it go. And, um, I mean, keep a good relationship with them. They're obviously very dear to you, but really just burn it away. Let it go. Um, detox it, you know, with the black tourmaline here. You need to detox this relationship. Get it out of your heart, your mind. Uh, stop thinking that it's your grounding um, relationship. Because this person is not going anywhere. It's going to be your friend. But you do need to move on, pile number one, and you know it. So you need to cut this uh, energy away so that you can start a new beginning. And that's the second part that we need to talk about here today, pile number one. So what I see here is that you are a very mature person and you have the idea that most people who come and offer relationships to you aren't really mature. You don't like most people anymore. Um, and if you constantly have this idea on top of your head, just like this one over here, that's exactly what you're going to be attracting. So you need to change this idea, just like with the water, cleanse this idea out of your mind. And always think of it this way, pile number one. I mean, if you exist and if you are wise, and if you can see a lot of healthy relationships out there in the world, why can't you have one? Why are you imprisoning yourself with this thought? Take yourself out of this victim mentality and start ha raising your vibrations and believing that you too will find the right person, pile number one. Detox this idea away from you, ground yourself and understand that not all people are immature or are the way that you've experienced. You can truly find an honest person with a lot of integrity who's here to stay and value you for who you are, who's loyal and uh, who's not going to be coming in to bring you some bad energy and give you a hard time. Because with this black tourmaline here, it looks like this is a person you're able to attract a person who's going to help you detox, take these bad ideas out of your life and ground yourself to the fact that there are good people and there are bad people and you need to vibrate higher in order to attract this sort of person into your life. So a third aspect that I see here that's standing in your way, pal number one, is with the holy water, you are truly a, a, a magical person to most people, pile number one, you undermine yourself. You think that you're not really all that and that people aren't going to value you or that they're, you're constantly focused on the negative things about you, which are not that bad, you know, at all, really might all be in your head. And you think that people aren't going to like you. And that's completely false. It's not true, pile number one. With this card here, I can truly see that you're a heaven to most people. You're a dream come true to almost anyone. And with the holy water, water nourishes us. It brings clarity. And you're the sort of person who nourishes people's hearts and eyes and minds and their whole existence, really. It's you are with the heart here. You are their heaven and their dream come true. You're really undermining yourself here, pile number one. And that's really attracting emptiness into your life. When you're really worth a wonderful relationship, what are you talking about, pile number one? You need to leave this idea. This needs to go. Because once you let go of this idea, move away from this pattern of thinking, new abundance is going to be happening and it's no coincidence that this pile with the reading moved the way it did and that the knight of cups is centered in your reading because i promise you pile number one you change these three aspects in your way of thinking and the right person is going to be knocking on your do door popping up out of nowhere and you're going to have a wonderful relationship soon. So pile number one, to summarize all this very quickly, the first thing you need to do is cut 
your cords with an ex person out of your heart, your mind, your hopes. Number two, believe that there are mature people out there who you can enjoy your life with. Number three, you need to take out the idea that you're not amazing because you're so amazing. I mean, you are a person who most people dream to be. So why aren't you giving yourself enough credit? Why are you so harsh on yourself? Um, don't look constantly look at the negatives because there are positives to everyone and there are negatives to everyone and the way people are going to see you is exactly like that pile number one in one picture so you need to see yourself as you are and you are going to be attracting so many people into your life and the right person will be coming along very soon so pile number one i hope this reading was really helpful to you i hope this changed your mindset and i hope this reading attracts the right person to you very soon. And uh, if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And I'll see you soon, file number one. Bye! Hi, pile number two. So you've chosen this beautiful cuprite stone, pile number two. Uh, and as you may know, cuprite is all about generosity. It's all about security is all about flow um, so let's see how this fits into your reading today and we're taking a look at what are the obstacles that are standing in your way in order to attract the beautiful love that you're waiting for whether it's someone that you have in your mind now or the person of your dreams so i've shuffled this the tarot cards before we started but now we're shuffling it again to set intentions so what you, what are the obstacles that are standing in your way pile number two in order to attract the right person for you all right so we have uh, we have the nine of pentacles we have the queen of pentacles in reverse we have the nine of wands i see a lot of nines here pile number two all right we have the ace of swords in reverse we have the knight of pentacles and last but not least we have the queen of swords all right so let's also pull out some oracle cards from the witch's oracle because I believe they bring in a lot of deeper perspective and we're able to look at things clearly. So what are the obstacles standing in your way, pile number two? Ah, mirror. Okay, very interesting. All right, so first off, pile number two, I see some things very clearly. So first of all, obviously, you're a very pretty person. Uh, you're very abundant and you carry yourself out very beautifully to the world. And you're wondering how, and I mean <laughs> that with all the humbleness, but you're wondering how can someone like you with all this potential not attract the right person to your life and that's a great question pile number two because you do have all that honestly with the cube right here you're very generous um you're a very good person who is a humanitarian at heart you encourage the practice of helping others without expectations uh you're good looking you're obviously at a good place with your finances and your work but what is the problem? The problem is, pile number two, is that you have some other uh, uh, insecurities that you hide, that you don't even want to see yourself. You hide from the people and you hide from yourself. And this is a big problem in the long run because not dealing with them and not looking at yourself and being honest with yourself you're unconsciously going to depend on other people to to make you feel better about yourself you know and how can a person like you just like you asked depend on other people to make them feel great when you are already amazing so with the queen of pentacles in reverse it says that you are you have so much potential you are all that pile number two this is the truth but there are certain aspects that you need to be 
addressing. There are certain insecurities that you have that you need to go deep down and think about deeply. You need to face yourself because when you face yourself and when you're honest with it, with yourself, this is the only time when you can fix what's wrong. So instead of hiding it and denying it and speaking to yourself really harshly about them, be honest with yourself and accept that they're there and start working on them and start removing them. So remove the mask, remove this monster that you're hiding Take it out and start dealing with it in a loving way. Start speaking to yourself in a very loving manner and addressing these issues. So, for example, um, do I have an issue, for example, with my weight? I mean, I'm a, such an amazing person. Why should I keep hiding behind my weight and feeling bad about it and constantly seeking security from other people? So start addressing that and take firm actions to fix it. Uh, if this is about um, a certain thing that you need to change in your life, then go out, address it, fix it, work hard. And I promise you, you're very soon be taking, out of, be, be taking it out of your life and you'll no longer depend on other people to bring you down or bring you up. Like you, you don't need to move along with their compliments or their negative comments anymore if they tell you you're wonderful it's lovely because you already know you're wonderful if they tell you a criticism that's not true you're going to bounce it off because you've already done that homework you've been honest with yourself and you already know the bad and the good and the ugly what everything harbor yourself just like a mother does talk to yourself this way and take yourself out of all the things that are your incomplete projects and complete them yourself. And so um, negative criticism isn't going to really affect you anymore and make you feel worried because you've already found and discovered that about yourself. And not only that, but you're also working on it and fixing it for yourself. So whatever anyone's going to hate you with is not going to be a surprise anymore. You won't care anymore because you're already working on it and fixing it. You see, you'll in no time have the world in your hands, being in control of your own life, being in harmony with yourself and not allowing others to define who you are anymore. Whether they feel like you're good, you're bad, you don't care anymore. You're going to radiate charming confidence because you're already all that. This is the truth. Uh, and uh, fixing this insecure, the insecurities that you have will make you outshine everyone around you pile number two this came out channeled <laughs> i don't know if this means something to you but really it's going to make you shine a lot it's going to take away uh, the the worries that you have about relationships and instead of being disappointed about the new beginnings and the new relationships and being worried about someone who's not coming in to like you no this time you know you're great, you're working on what you need to do, and you're not worried about relationships anymore. With your wonderful heart, your looks, your skills, pile number one, you are soon going to be attracting a wonderful person into your life. And that's really the only thing you need to work on because I, I don't like um, repeating myself, but you are all that really and that's the one thing you need to work on so take a look deep down you are this beautiful dragon inside you um reach your potential claim your power pile number two go get it don't just wait for others to compliment you with it you go get it make it for yourself and very soon once you fix that the right person will be coming in absolutely mm -hmm. admiring who you are completely in love with who you are this might be your ex your crush your existing partner whoever it is this is going to be great love coming in activating all the beautiful feelings inside of you all the fire everything that you really wanted um activating all this again and this time you're going to be having a lot of fun and you're going to be very happy in this relationship pile number two so i wish you all the best of luck i hope this reading was useful for you and if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and i'll catch you in the next reading bye 
high pile number three so you've chosen this beautiful moonstone and as you may know the moonstone is all about intuition diving into your femininity and nurturing uh, it's about uh, activating your intuition um, it boosts clairvoyant gifts and metaphysical powers so let's see how the moonstone fits into the reading and as you know today we're taking a look at what are the obstacles that are standing in your way from uh, you being with the person that you want or with the person of your dreams uh, what can you do to energetically cleanse this bad energy and start what you want all right so first of all we have the four of pentacles we have the eight of swords we have the queen of swords we have the nine of swords we have oh, the Six of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Very interesting pile number three. Let's also pull out some Oracle cards from the Oracles, the Witch's Oracle. Uh, it's a great Oracle to help us dive deep into more details about the wisdoms that we want to know about. And this is why it's very useful to these types of readings. All right, so what do we have? We have the familiar. Interesting. This already gives me an idea about what this is all about. Hi, pile number three. So this is your reading for what are the obstacles. All right. Uh, what I see here is the familiar. First and foremost, pile number three, the one thing the one thing that's standing in your way of not finding the right person and the person of your dreams is that you're holding too hard on a past crush, a past relationship, an ex, a certain person that you're not able to get out of your head. You're crying over a person who is not really, is letting go of you, is not a person who's equally holding on to you. Uh, and the reason you really want to be with this person is not because this person is exactly uh, the person that you want, and you know that, but it's just that you're familiar with them. They're someone from the past, and you just can't let, let go of the memories, the familiarity and the home feeling that they give you. Um, and you're really in pain because they're letting you go. They're not holding on to this special memory the way you're holding on to it, pile number three. And it's time you let go of this because, as you can see from the cards, once you cut this energy out of your life and move on, you don't need to cut them out. I mean, they can still be your friends. And uh, with the familiar card here, the familiar and witchcraft is like... Uh, the spirit animals in shamanism and so they can be there for you in terms of a beautiful memory um, a person who can be there for you if you're still friends you don't need to cut them out completely although this is what I see in the cards here uh, keep the memory keep um, the beautiful beginnings and endings that usually that obviously happened in your relationship you, you were on and off and on and off just like the moon a beginning and an end and a beginning and an end a beginning and an end someone who's constantly been there in your life appearing and disappearing appearing and disappearing where there's hope and then loss of hope and that's not get good energy to be in at all pile number three and you know it so you need to release this person out of your life uh, and start exploring new familiarities and once you believe that there are other people that can come in and make you feel home and make you feel happy once you let go of the past and look forward to the future you'll attract abundance in your life you'll attract a relationship that is really your dream because you know pile number three that this person even if you end up with them you're not going to be happy obviously they're not very generous with their emotions they're not very generous with their time and a lot of things in in life they're not even holding on to you the way you're holding on to them so that's keeping you held energetically and once you let go of that you will find on the opposite side a person who gives you time their resources their love 
that makes you feel really abundant that makes you feel warm you see the familiar at the back in the card looks like ice well the new feels very warm and enlightening so give yourself pile number three the chance to cut this crush or this ex or this partner out of your life so that you can have the opportunity to bring in the new because as you know energetically when you release something a vacuum is created and a vacuum is known to fill in things instantly and it's up to you what you fill in instead is it positive thoughts is it high frequency is it belief that you deserve better and that you're going to get better and having this high frequency and having a new beginning just like the moon will attract for sure this abundance to you because this did not appear in your reading pile number three for no reason uh it's there for a new beginning to happen it's like a cycle like the moon a cycle of change from new beginnings to full release so release the old, a new beginning comes in that is exactly what you need to be looking forward to. And this is the, li the lesson that life and the universe and God has been trying to teach you to, under to learn to let go of what is not serving you. Learn to let go of the people who you think are loyal to you but haven't been acting with this loyalty, pile number three. So let go of the past, keep the memory it's not all gone. Keep the memories and the beautiful moments. Be happy that you've experienced them. Cherish them close to your heart, but move on to a new beginning that's really good for you. And the moon, it helps you balance masculine energy with feminine energy. So this tells me that you're a very beautiful, nurturing person that anyone would really dream to be with. You have this feminine touch, you know? You just need to balance it out with mas with the you with your masculinity of learning to let go of what doesn't serve you and with the moon here you already know the art of serendipity and receptivity in your life you're an abundant person who attracts wonderful things to your life and it's this one area where you're holding on like life is not abundant and blocking off this serendipity and this receptivity energy that you usually have so you you already have this belief pile number three make use of it let go of this energy so wonderful things can happen in into your life i think the message is now clear pile number three and i know that you intuitively know this very well you just haven't taken action and i'm inviting you to take action towards this what i see with the star signs before we go here is cancer libra and scorpio this might be you pile number three and if it's not it could be the energy of this reading and the energies that you need to learn from to have this balance like the Libra of the masculine and the feminine femininity like the Scorpio to be emotional but strong like cancer to be loving but flowing move away from what doesn't serve you and go towards what you want instead pile number three it was really lovely doing your reading for you i hope this was beneficial to you in one form or the other or the whole reading can help you move forward and if you've liked this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and i'll see you in the next reading bye